Hello boys and girls, this is Ms. Campos and today I'd like to read a story to you from Epic. Today's story is called How to Catch a Leprechaun, written by Adam Wallace and pictures by Andy Elkerton. I'd like to give a special thanks to the publisher for allowing me to read the story to you today. The night is dark, the streets are quiet, St. Patrick's Day is near. I tap my hammer so you'll know the leprechaun is here. I'll pull out all your laces, put glitter in your hair, and when you walk around, you'll see my gold coins everywhere. You'll never catch me in your trap, but yes, I'll make a scene. I'll turn the whole place upside down. Your toilet will be green. House number one, I'm going in. Really, that's your trap. I'm in and out without a doubt. That one was a snap. And now I think it's getting worse. A shoebox on a stick? I'll dance a jig and still escape. We leprechauns are quick. Another house, I fixed your shoes. They really were quite smelly. I'll eat the nuts you left as bait and leave with a full belly. Now you're talking. Look at this. It's dandelion tea. But I'm too speedy for your trap. This tea is mine for free. I know you want my pot of gold. That iron cage was clever. But I've been alive 200 years. You won't catch me ever. Ha 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 ha. Now you're getting fancy, but I'll escape with twinkle toes. It's a fancy pansy dancy. It seems to me an engineer has helped with this design. Too bad this little leprechaun is going to be just fine. Your entire house is one big trap. From the ceiling to the floor, nice try indeed. But soon enough, I'll stroll right out the door. The leprechaun, be gone 3,000, gave me quite a scare, but without a four-leaf clover, I won't be caught in there. You'll never catch this leprechaun. Impossible, that's a fact, unless one day a brilliant child designs the perfect trap. But who will that child be? Better luck next year. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story, How to Catch a Leprechaun.